Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse, and today we're gonna talk about how damage and armor interact. So weapon strength is a fixed amount, there is no variation in the damage dealt, and the damage is divided into two types, base damage and armor piercing damage. Armor piercing goes right through armor unchanged, while base damage is reduced by armor. Armor, however, is a random range of damage reduction percentage, with the armor value representing the maximum damage reduction, and half the armor value is the minimum reduction. So damage is not random, but the reduction from armor is. So as an example, let's say Jade Warriors were fighting Ogre Bulls. Jade Warriors have 80 armor, so their armor reduces base damage randomly between 40 and 80%. While Ogre Bulls have 90 weapon strength, which is divided as 31 armor piercing and 59 base damage, so 31 damage always goes through unchanged, and 59 will be reduced by armor. So the minimum damage an Ogre Bull will deal to a Jade Warrior is 43, while the maximum damage is 66. Inversely, the Jade Warriors have 7 armor piercing damage and 21 base damage, and the Ogre Bulls have 30 armor. So when the Jade Warriors attack the Ogre Bulls, 7 goes right through and 21 gets reduced by armor, so the minimum damage is 22 and the maximum damage is 25. And that's how armor works in Warhammer 3. If you want to watch more videos on mechanics in Warhammer, watch my video on charge bonus here, and if you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!